And let's factor x squared minus 10x plus 16. And how can we do that? Well, we're going to look for two numbers that multiply to 16 and add up to negative 10. Excellent. So just going to open two sets of brackets. We have an x squared, so put an x here, another one over there. And two numbers that multiply to 16. So let's check them out. Um, I could have 1 and 16, but that wouldn't work out. Negative 1 and negative 16 also wouldn't work out. How about 2 and 8? Well, positive 2 and positive 8 wouldn't work, but negative 2 and negative 8 would. Because negative 2 plus negative 8 is negative 10, and that's what we wanted. So we have x minus 2 times x minus 8. Excellent. Okay, how about x squared plus 13x plus 36? So we want two numbers that multiply to 13. Nope. Two numbers that multiply to 36. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess it's been a long day. And two numbers that add up to 13. Excellent. So what two numbers multiply to 36? We have 1 and 36. We can have 2 and 18. We can have 3 and 12. What else? We can have 4 and 9. There we go. 4 plus 9 is 13. So we can open two sets of brackets. Put an x here, another x there. And we can just add 4 and add 9. So x plus 4 times x plus 9 is the answer. Let me just make some rectangles around the fully factored forms of these trinomials. And that's it.